My memory of Kurt always goes back to freshman year at Southern University. A ball of energy, life of the party, and sharp dresser. So you can imagine my shock after Kurt revealed on an Instagram post that a severe allergic reaction, known as dress syndrome, nearly took his life. It's hard to talk about it back then at times. It's not the same guy that you've seen in college, but, you know, I just, I wasn't expecting the outcome. I went to a dermatologist for help. I got something else. Kurt went to the dermatologist to treat ingrown hairs as he attempted to grow a full beard. Simple enough, he was given minocycline and epiduo, two drugs prescribed to acne patients daily. But just two days into taking the antibiotic, he told me he felt a severe pain in the back of his eyes, and from there, a snowball effect of symptoms. If I was to lay in a bed and just get up, pieces of, like, it's, it's like falling like flurries, like, you know, the little... Pieces of your skin were falling off? Yeah, it's like it's, it's just flaking off. Like, I could do this, and it was just, like, trickling down like it was nothing. My face was just bumped up, flaked up. It was peeling, it was on fire. I was terrified, like I, I felt helpless. I don't know what was going on. After his mother witnessed his symptoms firsthand, she rushed him to the emergency room. What the doctor said to him next was chilling. He was like, if you hadn't come in when you came in, you probably wouldn't have been. It would take months before doctors properly diagnosed Kurt. DRESS is an acronym, and it stands for drug rash, eosinophilia, and systemic symptoms. Dr. Aaron Bowe of Tulane University Health Sciences Center says you only see DRESS occur every 150 to 200,000 people, and it isn't caused by any one antibiotic or medication. There are multiple everyday medications we take that could trigger DRESS, and any one of us could be susceptible. DRESS is very, very uncommon, and we see it um, with a whole spectrum of medications. So antibiotics, antipsychotic drugs, anti-inflammatory medicines, like even over-the-counter medications like ibuprofen, which is super common and people take all the time. Is there a way that you could test to see if I'm at risk for dress? No, not really. It's not a practical thing. And again, we don't know the exact cause of it in terms of even the genetic makeup. Kurt had only been taking minocycline for one month. That was May of 2017. But he described the remainder of that year as hell. My hair didn't start falling out until July. Yes. Um, and the beginning of August. Uh, around middle August, I was like, you know what? I'm going to just shave it. When did you notice the change with your fingernails? Uh, my fingernails started to happen in, in November. And they just started to, you know, kind of fall off. In a matter of months, a complete transformation from a healthy man with no history of major health issues to almost losing his life and becoming barely recognizable. When you, now knowing your diagnosis and getting that first look in the mirror at yourself and seeing yourself, what you look like and what you are now, how did you feel? Lost. Like, I, uh... I don't, I don't know, it's, it's like you see this guy for, you know, all of your life. And then you have to, uh, you have to adjust to like a, a new, I don't know, I don't know every proper word to say or explain to just, I'm still dealing with it. You sort of went off the radar for a while. <laughs> I, I think I needed to. Because um, I, I didn't know. And I know people would be concerned about, you know, what's wrong. But with the help of family and friends, he started to reemerge. Did they give you the courage to make that post? Yes. To finally tell everyone, yeah. this is what's happening to me. They call me Kurt 2.0 now, because I, <laughs> whatever. And there, that joke, the laughter, 
That's the moment through transformation that I saw him again. And he wants others who may have gone through this rare condition to see themselves too. Mentally, it's, it's, the, it's still the toughest. Uh, I've accepted it, I mean, I'm, I've accepted it and I'm embracing it. Gotta love Kurt. Uh, Dr. Bo told me, these are the symptoms that you should look out for if you suspect you may have dress syndrome. She says if you take any medication, you need to pay attention to things like itch. If you develop hives, swollen lip, redness, tenderness in the skin, immediately just stop taking that medication. Call your doctor. Remember, anything can trigger this. If you want to go to our website, WWLTV.com, I spoke with a woman whose daughter suffered the same fate, taking an antibiotic, triggering dress syndrome. Unfortunately, her daughter did not survive this. Only on WWLTV.com, how she is on a mission now to learn more about this deadly reaction.